Salut, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Commune Française TV, Sound French, even to the French. As the poet Henri Dess once said, c'est à l'école le tagadagada qu'on apprend les bêtises. It's a song, you should check it out. At school, you learn lots of funny things, but uh, 3e, CE2, Terminal, oh la la, the French ladder in the education system doesn't make much sense when you first hear about it. We have a lot of 13 years old in college, for example. Let's have a look. L'école maternelle. L'école maternelle is kindergarten for children between two or three years old to uh, up to five. It's not mandatory, but 95% of children attend classes there. It's divided between petite section, petite section, small division, la moyenne section, middle division, and la grande section. They also call sometimes la première année, deuxième année, troisième année de maternelle. First, second, and third year of kindergarten. Easy. There, children start to learn how to socialize and are prepared to learn how to count, write, and read. L'école élémentaire. L'école élémentaire is elementary school. It's commonly called l'école primaire. L'école primaire. It starts at six years old and it is mandatory. Children learn the basics of la lecture, reading, l'écriture, writing, and les mathématiques, les mathématiques, mathematics. In each year, they have one teacher, une maîtresse, une maîtresse, ou un maître, un maître, who is responsible for all their lessons. Children start to learn other subjects as well, such as history, geography, and civic education too. You can play sport at la récréation, la récréation, also called la récré, in a shorter way, la récré, recess, try different activities and maybe go to la classe verte, la classe verte, field trips of a few days somewhere with the teacher and the class. L'école primaire is divided into three cycles or five years. Yeah, that's tricky. Le cours préparatoire, le cours préparatoire, mostly called le CP for the first year. Then, le cours élémentaire, le cours élémentaire 1 et 2, CE1 et CE2, in second and third year. Le cours moyen 1 et le cours moyen 2, or CM1 et CM2, in fourth and fifth year. I. Le collège, le collège. In France, le collège is middle school. It lasts four years and les collégiens generally are from 11 to 15. Those children may have to retake a year. Redoublé, redoublé. At le collège, you start to learn about plenty of new subjects and you have a special teacher for each. Children learn about French literature, geometry, science like physics, chemistry, biology. You start to learn a second language as well on the basis of maybe a third. Most of the time it's English, German and, and or Spanish and you can also choose to learn the basics of Latin and Greek. Old Latin and Greek. You can also try your hand at music with la flûte à bec, the famous one for French people, the flute. Les arts plastiques, les arts plastiques, visual arts, and technology. La technology, a mix between how to use a computer and how to weld small objects. That was very nice. Class numbering starts to make sense as a countdown to your majority. La sixième, or sixth grade, is the first year in college. Then it goes la cinquième, la quatrième, and la troisième. At the end of la troisième, you have a very famous exam called le brevet des collèges. Le brevet des collèges, that we also call just le brevet. Now there are some special lines for the teenagers who are not fit for la voie générale, who don't, just don't want to go to the general stream, like un collège technique or un lycée technique or even dropping out since education isn't mandatory after 16. But I won't develop these options here. It's not something to be ashamed of or anything. It's just that for the sake of the clarity of the video, it would be too much. And most of the people follow the general stream anyway. Le lycée. Things start to get interesting at le lycée. Le lycée is the equivalent of high school. Teenagers attend le lycée usually between 16 and 18. There are fewer lycées than colleges, so you have to go to the nearest bigger city for school. And you meet new people from other towns as well. When I was a girl, my city didn't have a lycée, so I went to the closest big city nearby. 
Versailles. Les lycéens soon have to choose their orientation between economics and social science, hard science or literature and arts, named ESSEL. -E -E they still have to learn at least a bit about each of these subjects, but their curriculum gets specialized and is stepping stone for the university degree. That's super important. Class numbering pickups where they left off. La seconde, la seconde, la première, la première, and the last one, literally, la terminale. La terminale. At the end of la terminale, the students are usually 18 years old. To mark the end of their education in the secondary cycle and their majority, they have a national exam called le baccalauréat le baccalauréat, or just called le bac. It's a very important and symbolic goal in the French culture and the first day of the rest of their lives. Les études supérieures. Les études supérieures, higher education in France starts after le lycée. It's a complicated mess, especially when trying to compare it with other foreign education systems. So I'm going to be very, very quick and non-exhaustive. Very non-exhaustive. Higher education doesn't really have standard class numbering, but it's usually summed up by counting from le baccalauréat. Bac plus 2, bac plus 3, bac plus 5, etc. The most common place is to go to university. L'université, also called la fac, short for la faculté, the faculty, la faculté. It's close to the American system and divided between la licence, la licence bachelor, le master, le master, master, and le doctorat, doctorate, or PhD, le doctorat. La faculté de médecine trains future doctors, la faculté de droit trains future lawyers, etc. France also have the institutions of les grandes écoles, literally higher schools, les grandes écoles, engineering schools or business schools, including the most prestigious and sought after. They deliver a master's degree and they're usually preceded by two years of preparatory school called les classes prépa, les classes prépa, or also called classes préparatoires, where students work a lot to prepare the competitive exams to enter une grande école. It's a system that's been written about a lot and its benefits and drawbacks. This is where I've been before going to engineering school. Except for some private schools, usually business schools, higher education in France is heavily funded by the state. So the tuition costs are very, very, very low. And being an étudiant, a student in higher education, offers various advantages in day-to-day -day life, such as heavy reductions at the museums, uh, cinema, or for transportation, and also help for the rent. Et toi, did you know the French school system? Have you or, or a loved one been in it? How did it go? Any tips to share with the community? Share your experience in French if you dare in the comments below the video. We can all learn from your story, especially here. The comment section is the best place to start discussions and ask me questions. If you like this video, share it with your friends on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Help me spread the word about Commune Française. Merci. Love friends, dream of sounding French, even to the French learn how with me, Géraldine on CommuneFrances.com and subscribe to my email updates for exclusive tips on real life in France every Tuesday plus an exclusive video lesson Introduce Yourself in French and it's free. Merci for watching Commune Frances TV, sound French, even to the French. Allez, salut!